I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. <gasps> We are Venom. Time to feed. Hey everyone, this is a makeup mashup of my two favorite villains, just in time for Halloween. Now, I know they live in two different universes, but imagine the beautiful chaos that would ensue if Venom took over the Joker. And if you want to do just one of these looks, that's totally fine. I'll tell you how in my video. Well, let's get started. First, prime your whole face and cover up your eyebrows by brushing them upwards and gluing them down with a glue stick. Do two coats. Clean up the area after it dries. Next, mix white face paint with a light liquid concealer. Cover up half your face if you're doing the mashup look, or do your whole face if you're going to be just Joker. Once you have solid coverage, take a kabuki brush and seal it with white setting powder. Joker's eyes have a crazed bloodshot look, so I line my lower waterline with this burgundy eyeliner. Next, I lined my eye with a black eyeliner and added minimal black mascara so my lashes match. Next, I took a black eyeshadow and went crazy. Look at the reference photo for his eye shape. I drew in a half circle near my nose and a line on my lid to mimic his sunken in eye sockets. Keep building out the black and add in some dark purple eyeshadow. Go for a messy look, smudging it with your finger. Next comes contouring. Use a light brown along your nose and underneath your cheekbones to define his sharp features. Blend it out. Use a pure white eyeshadow down your nose line and on your cheekbones to make those pop. Draw on his scars and cuts with black and red face paint. Fill in your lips with a red lip crayon. Then define the edges with a darker lip liner. He has pretty round lips, like an oval shape. Fill them in with lipstick and then a matte red eyeshadow. His lips aren't glossy. Clean up the edges with your concealer. I printed out his tattoos at home on temporary tattoo paper. I'll put the link below. Carefully peel off the backing. I realized I messed up and switched the scar placement, so I had to fix it. Blend your face color down your neck and onto your ear. Top it all off with a wig and a fake grill. Are you sweet talking me? All that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. If you're doing only the Joker makeup, congrats, you're done. If you want Venom to take over, use a white eyeliner pencil to outline his jaw, tongue, teeth, and eye holes. Use a reference photo. His tongue is super long and thin, so I drew a figure eight down by my collarbone. I wanted the Venom eyes to be on my own eyes, so I could wear a white colored contact and keep my eyes open for the full effect. Go over the teeth with a white paint and a fine brush, then define the teeth points with a black paint. Of course, if you're only doing Venom, draw both sides of his jaw. Again, I urge you to look at a reference photo for this. It comes in handy for sure. Use a detail brush on all the edges between the black and white. Then with a wider brush, I use the Maroon Paradise paint in black to fill it all in. Do the same with the white paint in the eyes and set it all with a white powder, protecting your black cheeks from falling flakes. Fill in your teeth with white face paint and use a white mascara to make your eyelashes fade away. Next, draw in all the gums and tongue with a red face paint, taking care to go around all the top edges of each tooth. To show the venom suit creeping across Joker's face, I used a medium pointed brush and black face paint to draw crisscrossing fluid lines that branch out in true symbiote fashion. Skip this step if you are doing full venom, or do it on the edge of wherever you want to stop your black face paint. With a smaller detail brush, define all the edges in black, including outlining each tooth. Right now, venom's eye holes are too perfect. We need to mess them up a little bit and add some texture. Use black paint to cut into the white and add some long oval dots inside. Use a gray powder eyeshadow to detail all the lines on his forehead. Crinkle in your eyebrows like you would if you were angry to see where they should go. Draw on an upper lip and shade in his upper eye area as well. Define the shiny gum highlights with a light pink face paint 
and define the top tooth edges with black to give it a cartoon feel. This is super important. Now imagine a light source hitting your teeth. You wanna shade all the spots that are gonna be in shadow with a light brown and all the highlights with a pure white eyeshadow. Now for the tongue. Shading is what really brings this venom look to life. So you wanna look at a reference photo and powder in all the shiny, wet, slimy tongue areas with the white eyeshadow. Next, emphasize the tongue groove and underneath it with the black eyeshadow and blend. Make sure you get all the spots where the tongue overlaps itself as well. You really wanna create that 3D effect. Clean up the black edges and draw shadows on the gums in between each tooth. I realized my tongue would pop better against all black, so I filled in the area around it as well. Lastly, I put in a white contact on my Venom side to complete the look, along with my Joker wig and latex glove. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more makeup looks and hit subscribe if you like my videos. See you next time.